we have been on the series the power of god and we say that without the power of god you are doomed for destruction because the devil is out not smiling the bible says in john 10 10 the enemy cometh not so when you see him coming it is to do one thing to kill to steal and to destroy say if he's not coming to do this straight assignment he will not come so when the devil knocks on your door and he comes with with headache it's not headache that he's there with he's there to kill or to steal or to what destroy so the power of god is a necessity in a generation where even men can present themselves to be the devil so you see a man will stand and say over my dead body will i see you prosper that man has become a devil a man will stand not because you did anything to the man but because you dressed well why will he dress like that why will he bab that kind of hair have i babbed that hair because i have not babbed that hair and he's babbing that hair i will deal with him what is meant to bring celebration is bringing anger why will he buy land so because he bought land let me bury something there you need the power of god because if you don't have the power of god you will step in the new land you bought and step out of the place that becomes the end somebody a woman told me the son came back and paid for land four plus of land and the, the son want to use the land to build something he has the money he came back pay for the land went back to continue with his business so he can come back and uh, continue the house or start the house that was the end the next time he came home they had to sell goods to give him transport the enemy is not smiling so don't think you can you know succeed doing things on the world where darkness is ruling But there's a kind of there's a realm where you operate from someone will now come bury something in that land you will step in and build on what the person buried they think the person buried instead of killing you it will make you prosper <laughs> they will notice that if after they buried that thing the man bought a, a new car what is happening they buried another one you bought another land they buried another one you started building they say let's remove all it's like the thing is prospering him let's go and bury it in our own compound so we'll prosper they will bury it in their own compound it will start killing their children you need power you don't need to remove what they bury build on it is anyone hearing what i'm saying are you hearing what i'm saying say so you shall trade upon serpent and scorpion and nothing shall by any means hurt you that means even if they bury anything walk on it and go like nothing happens it's only when we go to heaven we realize how many we have walked on and it's looking like nothing happened when we go to heaven we realize how many times they are poisoning a drink you were taking they are poisoning your food and you ate it like nothing happened because you were operating from a realm higher than what they gave you praise god so we started in first service by explaining dunamis we say that dunamis is an inherent power is the power is the potential given to you to what to create a notable change so dunamis is given to you to create change you are in poverty you need dunamis to come out of that poverty you are in sickness you need dunamis to come out of the sickness so to create a notable change you need dunamis and i said the way to activate dunamis is through prayer but not consistent prayer dunamis is activated with instant prayer what do i mean by that you have a meeting or there is a change uh, there is something around you you want to bring change to you can stand in the place of prayer and you pray for the next three hours in the midst of that prayer especially praying in the spirit you activate a certain kind of authority over you and that authority is called what dunamis when it comes on you it comes on you to create a notable change but with dunamis you will not have victory 
in your day-to-day -day activities because it is not all the time that maybe you are traveling and accident is about happening you now say kai accident is happening you know let me stay dynamis so that i will use dynamis to rescue myself from accident you now do joko paka by the time you are done you will see yourself praying and your body is one side you are still praying you know but you are you just notice that you are now too you know somebody said i see you here i see you here are you twice so you when you look at yourself you see yourself here and see yourself in another you say am i twice <laughs> ah car is already tumbling you say hey let me quickly activate dynamis because you need power to come out of that kind of challenge if you want to act by the time you are done staring angel is telling you come home come home he said what is going on here say you have crossed i thought i was praying you were not prepared because some challenges will come when you are not prepared there's another kind of power you need to handle those kind of challenges or you go somewhere and they poison your food you now say hey you were not aware it's not when you are done eating the man now say i just poison your food you say kai and the, the food is the poison is meant to kill you before the next three minutes you say let me let me quickly stir up dynamis let me quickly stir up dynamis there's another kind of power you need someone is with gun before you and it's the gun he has triggered it as the bullet is coming to your direction you say let me stir dynamis Dunamis is not what you need for your day-to-day -day victory. You need it to cause a change. You need it to make some things change. To make some things happen. And when it comes on you, you look like one mighty man. You know if I'm preaching on this altar and Dunamis, even the preaching I'm doing now is because Dunamis is activated. And there's a certain level of this thing, and this activation it will, it will reach. I will start releasing it. People are falling under anointed. But what if you meet me in my house? Will I do her like this you for? That time when is look, looking like faith is weak. Which kind of power do you need then? Why dunamis? There are two kinds of power you need for change. One is dunamis. Two is kratos. One is dunamis, two is kratos. Why dunamis is there to cause a change, an instant change, or to help you bring a notable change in your life, in your situation, in your finances? Kratos helps you to give you, helps to give you a day-to-day -day victory as a believer. Dunamis is activated. Let me say, for instance, I have a meeting. Uh, or just like I said, we are going to soon, very, very soon point people that will preach. I just come on Sunday. I say we are visiting uh, Subway Street. And uh, Caleb is the one that will preach on Friday this week. And Caleb will say, wow. From Monday, I declare fast. He has not been praying. He doesn't have prayer life. Monday, he declare fast. Tuesday, he declare fast. Wednesday, he declare fast. Thursday fast. Friday, sure, that Friday that I was to preach, he locked up himself from morning. At the end of the thing, a certain level of authority is stirred and brought upon him. And then you see him wearing suit and coming to Subway Street and he's walking like someone flying on the air. What is going on? You say, Caleb, good morning. He say, bless you. Bless you. He is filled with power. That is, the power is even showing his eyes. It's dunamis. I will come that day. Say, bless you. When you give him mic, he shouted. Hey! Glory, hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Fire! Fire! At the end of the whole thing, he goes home. Two days from the day he finished that meeting, no prayer. And then, after Tuesday and Wednesday, something hit him. He will be asking himself, was I the one shouting that day? Is it the same mouth that I used to talk to that devil? He can't talk at that moment. 
because that authority was stirred as a result of instant prayer that compelled the stirring of his a, of a power residence inside of him called dunamis so if you come now even as we are in service now i say let's pray in tongue if you are consistent in praying in tongue for the next 15 to 20 minutes you will notice that the atmosphere of your spirit will change you feel like praying more you feel like doing something sometimes you are praying you just get to a point you say where is devil i want to fight you physically i want to it's dunamis that was there if that dunamis is lifted and the next minute maybe you invited devil and after one hour devil didn't come it was after three hours you are done staring the whole thing has gone down devil now appears who was the one saying he wants to fight with me here you that was shouting where is the devil let me fight with you you will fly through window and by the time you realize what was up what you have done you might be in sparing though with your phone calling all the pastors you know my life is my life is is in danger help me help me help me pastor help me where are you pastor i've taken communion i've even drank oil nothing is happening do you know why you don't need dunamis for your day-to-day -day life if you want to be victorious always on power even you are eating and they called you and said there is a challenge you'll handle it you are in a restaurant i think it was okay it was my wife that was when we were cutting we went to see my pastor we entered restaurants to eat the person that served us food was deaf and done and when i was done eating i cleaned my mouth i said come i opened the ear and the mouth in restaurant no video no camera i was not opening it to say god bless you and we left the place not because i i finished it. i said hi this person is deaf and dumb. Let me quickly stay off dynamics. And I, I held that. They will be looking at me. What is he doing? I'll be doing quack, 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 quack. When the tea will come, you say, Obela, 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 Now, he's here, he's here. You come, come. Let me open the ear. No! God made provision for dynamics to create a notable change. Yet, he made a, a provision for Kratos so that it will help you in your day-to-day -day activities so when i'm done preaching on the altar and i'm face to face with life challenges how i respond to it is totally dependent on the level of kratos that is on me if kratos is there is there permanently that is the one that when they wake you up at midnight you respond to the thing the way your spirit is energized Dunamis is not the one that does that one. Dunamis is just a staring that brings fire on your head. If you preach, or you are a preacher, you know that even sometimes when you come to, or to the altar, some, some of the times when you come to the altar to preach, for almost the next, for the first 10 minutes to 20 minutes, you are still trying to get your way into what you want to preach. Especially when you are still trying to begin to preach and all those. Before you know it, there is a point it will get. It will be like something heavy just came on you. Boldness will come. In dunamis, you pray through. You pray through. That is, you pray to create change. You pray into encounter. You pray into change. Are you understanding what I'm saying? You pray more in tongue. So you pray through. So I can stand now and say, because church wants to buy a land, I wake up maybe around 10 in the night and I begin to pray. Oh Lord, give us that money. Paravikas. Ekoradika. I prayed 11 and I'm still feeling that weight. I prayed to 12, I'm still feeling that weight. I prayed to 3, I'm still feeling the weight. I prayed to 6. They woke up and they met me praying. I prayed to 10. I prayed to 11 the next day and all of a sudden I felt a note of victory in my spirit. I just prayed through. That is dunamis. I stared the power. And when I'm done praying, I just say after two days, somebody called me. Where are you, pastor? Send me your account. I'm led to dash you money. And all of a sudden, the money that reflects in my account is the exact money we need to pay for the land. You just pray through. So, in dunamis, you pray through. But in Kratos, you pray always as a lifestyle. So Kratos is activated when you have a daily prayer. Prayer schedule. You have every day I pray one hour. Every day I pray one hour. Listen to me. 
in anyone who operates in that realm we have more energy than someone who just pray when he feels there is trouble who just prays when he feels there is an opportunity there are so many pastors who do the same and they make it as a mistake so you see the man run around he doesn't have anything on saturday night you just wake up he'll come to church on sunday he's jumping around hey 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 and the devil will come and hit his daughter or hit his son in the house he will carry him and be running to hospital because the only thing he was able to stare is the power to create change so he will stare it on sunday he will come and be jumping on the altar like like he's the is the assistant jesus he will jump from here he will even be preaching he will jump and jump inside the congregation he will jump back take it take it take it take it but when little challenge hits him in his day-to-day -day activities the same man that was jumping from one place to the other shouting take it take it he will be his ass and say what is going on who will help me <laughs> so it is good to pray through but it is better to pray as a lifestyle because that is the one that empowers you to handle day-to-day -day challenges because so many things will come to test you. When you're on the altar shouting, I am empowered. I'm anointed by the Holy Ghost. I am this and that. When day to day activities come against you, you will ask yourself, Was I the one shouting that thing? It's like you have not seen challenges. Oh. That is, you were the one on the altar shouting, I can never be sick. I can never be sick because Dunamis was on you. You are just making noise now dunamis has lifted you are in your house and some all of a sudden you feel a boy growing from one part of your body and the devil will come and say it is cancer you say we're, we're cow waiting you now carry blanket and cover yourself in an atmosphere where everywhere is hot we are now feeling cold because of one whisper from the devil that says it is cancer you will not live up to seven days the next minute you are in hospital please check is this a cancer If you want the kind of energy that gives you victory over the activities of life what you need is what kratos the response you give to whatever happens here now let's say we are all here all of a sudden we'll hear a bang like god Boy, the response is dependent on the kratos you have so you hear Wah! here now the people you feel are strong, you see them jump this face. It's when they have reached towards Perry, though. They will now be asking their neighbor, what really happened? What happened? What happened? They say, no, it's not gone. No, it's knockout. He say, eh? Is it knockout? They will now call and say, I was running to get my own gun. You were running for your life. How do I walk in Kratos, create a daily prayer schedule. That is, I must pray. Someone like can is it uh, Smith Wiggles? What he prays every thirty minutes, on or up until he died. Every thirty minutes he's praying. Every thirty minutes he will kneel down and pray. Every thirty minutes he will pray. Create a daily schedule of prayer. Some of you, you don't have prayer life. You don't even pray five minutes every day. All you know is when challenges come, you want to stay dynamic. You cannot conquer life challenges that way. Because some challenges will come to you as a shock. They will come when you are not prepared. They will come when faith is weak. And when they come that way, you won't know how to handle it if you are not already endued with a kind of power called Kratos. If you go to Mark chapter 1 verse 35, and in the morning, rising up a great while before the day he went out and departed into a solitary place and there he prayed he's, Je he's talking about jesus so jesus himself has a daily prayer schedule if you have even if it's 15 minutes you pray every day and you are consistent in it you are more strong you are stronger you are stronger than a man who wakes up and pray three hours or who prays uh, one week 
Okay, he locks up himself for three days and, he, and those three days drive fast in prayer and the next time he will do it is after one month. He doesn't pray again till after one month. You are stronger. You that pray 15 minutes and that 15 minutes is daily and consistent. You are stronger than that man that will just go and lock up himself and carry phone and say, I'm on the mountain. I'm praying. I'm praying. You say, you receive your miracle and pray. If you are praying, you won't have time to pick your phone. Sometimes I see some persons who go to pray and they will say they, they are mounting praying. And at the end, they will upload pictures where they are lying down, where they are, they are kneeling down, they are lifting their hands up. My question is, did they go to mountain with, with photographer? So as they were going to pray, they say, media director, follow me. Anything I do on that mountain, snap me. You are deceiving yourself. And deceiving a generation that doesn't know what relationship with Jesus is. That relationship is a secret relationship. He said, if you want to pray, you lock your house. That locking your house is, don't make it an open thing. I don't need to come and spread to people you are praying. If you actually have a prayer life, your resort will show that you have one. He said there is, a, there is your father who sees in secret. When you pray in secret, that father who sees you in secret will now reward you in the open. It's the reward that men will see and say, what triggered this reward? And they will realize that it's your prayer life that actually triggered the reward. Uh, I, I'm on the mountain. One day, I, I was, that was he one mountain here. The man was with phone. Say, I'm on the mountain and I'm praying for you. Please, Please send me a recharge card. Send me a recharge card. Um, you are a beggar. Daily prayer. In Daniel chapter 6 verse 10. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed. He went into his house. And his window, windows being opened in his chamber. Toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he did a four time. This was when a law was given against prayer. Nobody should pray. Daniel opened his window and he was praying with his face toward Jerusalem. And he's not just praying and hiding, he was praying three times a day. No wonder when they captured him, say, You that have disobeyed. Nebuchadnezzar, we are going to deal with you. They captured him and threw him into the lion's den. Imagine he was not prepared and they carry him and throw him into the lion's den. You think he's inside that lion's den? He'll start, he'll start staring dunamis. Say, let me activate dunamis. It, with hungry lions. So what gave him victory was actually the day-to-day -day prayer life he had. What will make Shadrach, Meshach, and Abadnego look at the king and say, we are ready to go to the fire. We know that our God is able to save us. Even if he's not able, we are ready to go into the fire. They know there is a, there is a kind of faith that is built through day-to-day -day prayer. And they have that kind of faith. So when they went into the fire, they realized that a fourth man walked with them into the fire. Because they have relationship with that fourth man. If you don't have relationship with Jesus, sir, I tell you, some challenges will come and shock you. And yet you have healed the sick. Yet you have raised the dead. Because all you need to do that is dunamis. You stay it and it's happening. But what of when challenges hit you? When you are just with food in your mouth. You are still, you are eating. You are just eating. And you were watching movie, you are eating. They just say, hey, pastor, this one has happened. What happened? Somebody is, di is dead. Is dying. Is dying. Doctor say two minutes he will die. You say, okay, okay, I'll, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Let me stay at Dunamis. Let me stay at Dunamis. Yeah? That's where you hear people say, I am not in the mood when the thing happens. There is a mood that when I enter it, every, every mountain will be removed. I need to enter the mood. I need to enter the mood. You will not always be in that mood. One of the ways to keep yourself always in that mood is to have a day today's kedu of prayer in dunamis you pray through in kratus you pray always in dunamis you pray into change in kratus you pray into time jesus 
gave us a prescription of one hour will you not watch with me for at least one hour that means the prescription of jesus is at least the least point any believer should any believer's prayer should be is at the one hour level daily one hour prayer in dynamis you pray into encounter in dynamis you pray into change but in kratos you pray into time in kratos you pray consistently in kratos you make prayer a lifestyle so the bible says pray with your season that means in kratos you can be driving on your way all of a sudden oh thank you holy spirit no prayer is a small prayer even if it's two minutes you are in your place of assignment all of a sudden not all this your joke Mamo Nemo, hey, my mother. You, you don't know. If you are someone that is operating in the level of Kratos, something will always happen to you. You cannot stay longer long without, without praying. Before you know it, you're saying, Thank you, Jesus. So in Kratos, you pray always. In Kratos, someone can be discussing with you, your heart is boiling. You are talking, but you are praying in tongues. In Kratos. How are you? Fine. What is happening? But inside, oh, Baka, Hikinaka, Embro, Kadika, Kafradika. That is where God wants you to dwell in. In that Kratos, you see yourself pray and go to bed. And you are waking up still praying in tongue. What happened? While you were sleeping, your spirit was praying. Because you have entered, you have accessed the realm where anything is possible. And you know that in this realm, you need to be perpetually ready. For whatever will happen zekalega parofalias barataya if you watch even when i'm preaching i am doing it i'll preach a little oh my god thank you zaka farus kalaki bradi kalabaradish my god my god feniasa Thank you, Holy Spirit. Parakos Kafia. Surakatia. It's religion that tells you that you must that prayer you must go and lock up your house. What the Bible is talking about actually is a spiritual lock your heart. Lock, don't let pride want you to ex expose to people how you pray. You just come and say, Do you know me? I just I just clear seven hours a day. You are you are walking in dunamis. It's the least point every believer should walk in. That is the one Jesus is promising the ones that just got saved. Is dunamis everybody should walk there but there is a place where people are now are now placed by height when you want to assess that one you must build a consistent prayer life no longer coming you are a pastor you only praise once a week because you want to preach on sunday you are a baby christian you are not even qualified to climb water and preach to anybody because if you want to be a mature christian you will always be perpetual that is when you get to that point that you will hear the voice of god every point in time you can be traveling all of a sudden the god will tell you something is about happening and you say oh i deal with it in the name of jesus but you you don't have it you are traveling you can't even hear that the car you are entering will have accident and when the car has crashed, you say, God, what, have, what did I do to you? See my leg. They, are, they said they will cut off my leg. Is it that I'm not a believer? The problem is that God was talking, but because Kratos was not activated, your ear was blocked to hear the voice of God. He was trying to whisper to your spirit, but you were not receptive enough. You were not tuned to his direction. Kratos tunes you to, the, to God's frequency. <laughs> So at this level you are tuned. You know when you want to pick a frequency, maybe a, a radio station, you will tune your radio. You understand what I'm saying? You tune it to the station. You know the frequency you are tuned to. That is what you are afraid of. That's why you always wait. You are hearing the voice telling you you, are, you will die. That means you are tuned to the frequency of the devil. The same way the devil is speaking is the same way you can tune yourself to the frequency of God. And when you in the realm of God, he will always encourage you. Even when death is on you, he's telling you you will live. You will live. You will live. But because your frequency is 
not at the realm of God. Your frequency is at the realm of the devil. All you are hearing is a voice telling you that sickness will kill you. It's a voice telling you you can never make it in life. It's a voice telling you you can never prosper. Has anybody ever prospered in your family? No! We walk in the frequency of God. Every day we are given assurance of, of success. Every day we are given assurance of progress. Every day we are given assurance of conquering that battles. And the only way you can operate in that realm is by operating at the realm where you have a consistent prayer life. Don't think that just plugging your phone one day will serve you for one year. Especially the kind of phone they produce now. You plug it before 12 the next day, it's already 2 2 2 2 2. So you will have power bank. Once you stay a little while, you will fire it on your power bank. You need to have a spiritual power bank. You have, I know you have prayed. I know you know how to pray through, but pray consistently in your business environment. It's only then that you will have God will give you the sense of the spirit. That you even be in your business environment and you pick danger. You start countering it. You start rebuking it. You will deal with it before it will come. I narrated a story here. I was traveling down from Abuja one day and I was in the car. I was listening to a message. All of a sudden, I heard the Holy Spirit says, This car you are in has been marked in such a way that everybody here will be killed by fire. So the car will catch fire and kill everybody in the car. I say, what? While I was sitting there, I began to rebuke the devil. Because I'm in this car, people are saved. Because I'm in this car, no life will be lost. Because I'm in this car, nothing will happen. The car was moving, there was no sign of fire, nothing. After I was done countering those things and praying, and I felt a note of victory. I kept listening to my message. After like 30 minutes, from the point I heard that in, people began to wave. Fire! 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 The driver parked his car. He, before even the car parked, both the elderly and the young ones were flying out through the window. But where I was seated at the back, I was relaxed with my earphone on my ear, still listening to the message. Do you know why? I have dealt with the challenge before it came. So I know the end of it that nobody will die in this thing. Paul says, relax. Relax. An angel appeared to me this night and told me that none will be lost out of this trouble. Say relax, we'll all cross. The only thing that will damage is the sheep. But we will all come out alive. <laughs> so you see somebody you boast. He said this month I, I just did three hours for three hours bakalika bakalika and something came on me. Sir, that is dunamis. Where we weigh you is not in dunamis because that one is made available to every believer. Where we actually weigh you is in Kratos. Where this power is now activated as a daily commodity. So as you are living out from the house, you have been wired with a certain kind of authority. And while you are going on the way, all of a sudden you charge yourself. Bali is My God. You just remind yourself I'm a lion. You are in the class, you are teaching. Paravis, Kenekata, Priskupaika. You reminded yourself, I'm a son of a lion. As a student, I always stay in one corner. While I was in the university, one end of the class, I'll be there. You know why? I'm always praying. I'm always praying. Even while lecturer is praying, he's teaching, I'll be looking at him and I'll be doing my hair like this. That is why a lecturer can point me and say, I will fail you. And I look at him and say, if you fail me, I'll kill you. You can't say that from the realm of dunamis. Because when that thing has removed, it's like someone that drank alcohol. If the thing clear from your eyes, the lecturer is dealing with you, you can't do anything. <laughs> what activates that one is this. Somebody now walks into your office. I will so deal with you, your smile. Say, you deal with me. Do you know who you are talking to? Go and ask you. People who are in the world of darkness, you understand Kratos. That is why that you have 
you have done your incantation in the morning while you are in your house does not mean that while you are going out you should not tie the tortoise on your waist as you are going to the office they will tie tortoise on their waist and then cover it with suits they will become negative choosing mapo so they will wear their own apron negative apron and then use suit to cover it the person who is working with you in the office that you are sitting and, and, and saying I want to be promoted above him is tying tortoise is tying tortoise he is wearing one ring on his ear on his hand he knows that danger can happen you go in the house all of a sudden you are a believer and the house suddenly started collapsing the same man that you were sitting here with and you think two of you are operating from the same room he will do hand on, like this on his ring and disappear there was one time uh, I think uh, one, one of the sitting senate president then I won't mention his name he was in an environment with his car where a bomb was thrown and that bomb was targeted on his car in Lagos and that bomb was thrown to his car he was sitting in the car and when the whole thing happened driver died security man died the man sat in his house you are not all equal <laughs> so the, the security man said i am the one carrying gun you have dunamis the one sitting at the back is carrying more gun than you the gun you have is a physical gun you need to know when danger comes to be able to use gun what of when your gun is like this sitting and they are already shooting? You are, where, is the, where is the gun? Where is the gun? Or you are just waking up and God, bullet is already on you. You don't need to, you can't have time to pick the gun. This man is wearing ring. You, you are carrying gun. And you think you are the one securing him. You don't know he's the one securing you. Until then they are now hit. You will do like this. So we do. They are gone. You know the days of uh, the ZOCC Kanko in Aba, where they will come to catch him. All of them will run, fia, 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 fia. They will reach the wall, pia, they will disappear. Police with gun, he can't catch him. Police will place gun bah, 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 on his body. Bullet will be running on the ground, he will be coming. Police with gun will turn and start running. He has Kratos, negative Kratos. Why police has? Dunamis. Do I need only Dunamis? No. Do I need only Kratos? No. If you want change in your life, you need the two. You will always know the season to pray through. And you will always know that the one that is a day-to-day -day prayer life is non-negotiable. Jesus Jesu, my love, I want to make you smile. I want to please your heart. Jesu, Jesu, my love, I want to make you smile. I want to please your heart. Now, let me give you the third one. Esuzia. What did I tell you about Esuzia? Let me see those who are understanding what we are saying. Let it not be that I'm just talking. And I say, yes, oh crow. Yes, yes, you are right. Yes, yes, yes. You know when we were in secondary school, when they come and teach us sulfur notation and all those in music, as the man is teaching it, the thing is doing me like this on my eyes. I've never seen a course that gave me tough time like music. Say so so do 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 so 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 do do say what is this? And then when you enter exam hall, they will say you should draw it. The only one I know how to draw is the one that you draw like this. You draw like this. Everything that comes in between, I don't know. Except the one I cram. I'll just carry the way it is in my head and paste it. Just to pass the exam. I know some of you that is how say what is Kratu? What is what is he saying about Kratu? Kratu with I was not again, I was not one must not Kratu with it. I was not do with it. So what did I say about Esuzia? Give him the mic, give someone mic. 
Okay, give mama a mic. Jesus, Jesus, my love. I want to touch your heart. Praise the Lord. All right. It is uh, the power authority to reign. Positional authority. Yes. Posi I like that word, positional kind of authority. So you are a policeman. You are sitting in that place as what? Huh? The, the reason why you can spark anybody on the road is because you have a susia. You are a soldier. The reason why you are telling people do frog jump and they are doing it is not because you are so strong and mighty, but because there is a susia on you. Any day you remove that coat you are wearing, you realize you don't have anything. So, as a believer, I told you that we have been given a susia, we have been given a certain kind of power to become sons of God so sitting in a position as a son of God as a child of God means you are in a position and there are authorities that comes from that realm remember I say in dunamis you pray through in kratos you pray consistently you pray consistently dunamis gives you change in your situation kratos keeps you victorious as a believer but you don't need only dunamis and kratos you need a susia because you are occupying a position in christ but there is a way to even activate this kind of power because the major thing jesus the bible says is that my people are perish because of what lack of knowledge not because of lack of money not because of lack of wisdom not because of lack of power not because of lack of uh, what other thing that troubles us Talk, talk, talk. What are the things that troubles men? Lack of health. Lack of wife. For some persons that believe that once they marry, trouble is settled. You see, because I'm single. That's why I'm struggling. If you are struggling as a single man, and you want to not carry a second person to add to the struggle, while I do. Say, so I, I need to marry so that uh, I will begin to, you know, when I'm married now, we are now two. We can reason together. We can, we can, we can reason on, you can only reason on how to eat the same thing you have been eating. You need as a single man to solve problems first before you get another person's daughter. If I see that kind of person in my house, I will use gun and pursue you. Say so what is what what will you how will you feed my daughter? I say I pray talk. I pray yet yeah, not I that pray. I say go and pray and feed yourself for three years, you come back. Praise God. So you understand now? Now, now this dunamis is given to every believer. Kratos is activated on those who are willing to have a consistent prayer life. Then a susia now converts to you the authority that comes with the office you occupy as a believer. But how do I activate a susia? I said a susia is recorded in, in John chapter 1, verse 12. He said, But as many as receive him, to them gave he a susia, that is power. That power there is a susia to become the sons of God, even them that believe what in his name. Dunamis helps you to pray, pray through. Kratos is born as a result of consistent prayer life. But a susia comes as a result of revelation. Revelation. So one is activated by praying through. The other is activated by consistent prayer. Why this other one is activated by knowledge? That is why you see before a military man becomes a soldier, he is taken for a six months training. Within that season of six months, revelation is given to him. He is coming out from there not as the same person that went inside there. He is coming out from there with a knowledge, with tangible knowledge on how to kill people. If you are fighting with this person and he's coming against you, touch him here, he will die. You, you don't know it. The reason why you are afraid of him is that he knows where to touch you and you are gone
So in a Susia, what activates the Susia is revelation. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall not live by bread alone. That means there is a power a man needs to live, which is not gotten from bread. He said it's gotten from the word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So as you are hearing the word, as you are picking the word, as you are understanding the word, revelation is coming on you, you are getting empowered. So this one is coming as you are listening. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word. Yet there is another kind of faith that comes as you pray in the Holy Ghost. That is in Jude 20. Another faith comes. That faith is a level of power that is released only to those that know. So you can be a believer and not know the power that you are meant to operate in. That's why Ephesians chapter 3 prayer is there. That the eyes of my understanding be enlightened. That you even know the level of authority that is made available for you as a believer. So revelation triggers a susia. A policeman leaves your house and goes to the camp as a normal man. As he's coming out, he knows what to do. He knows how to arrest you. A soldier leaves as a normal man and goes out. I remember one of my friends that went to NDA. When he came back, <laughs> everything about him changed. His look. He was looking more bony. And then he came home one day. One of our friends, we, we, all of us used to be circle of friends then. The brother, the elder brother that this guy, well, before he went to NDA, used to respect. They had issue on the road. I think, I don't know what they have about remove car, not remove car. The boy was still thinking that this man is a normal man until he slapped him. When he slapped him, he now realized that something had been wired into his hands. That hands is no longer the hand of a normal man. It's like they use scissors to tear the hands out. When they slap you, the pain will not look like the slap of a man. And he now told him, frog jump. Frog jump! Why the boy, the man was doing it like this. His brother came. I said, ah! Ugo, why are you why are you doing this to my brother? He said, if you talk again, you'll join him. Understanding empowers you. Say, my people perish because they don't have revelation. If only you know what Jesus has done, if only you know the level of power that will be released to you, if only you know the authority that is vested on you as a believer, my God, you will talk differently. You will act differently. You will behave differently. At this realm, how do you receive the word? You don't just receive the word. When the Bible is talking about receiving the word, the word there is not receiving, it's like catching the word. You don't receive it, you catch it. So as the word is being released this morning, you catch it. That's why sometimes when you catch it, you can't resist it. The next thing is, ah, what is this? There must be a response. Even when you are studying in your room and you catch a word, you just see yourself jump up. Hey! Before you realize I was studying. My God. You catch the word. The word used for it is called Catalambano. It's catch it. You go for the word. You catch the word. You don't just receive it. It's not something you just relax like somebody. Oh, the word is sweet. Hmm. That's why I, I like the way this man receives the word. When the thing hit him, kaya bataya. You might laugh, but after a few years, you see the change it will create. The day I received the word for healing, I was in my room studying. And when I saw it, I screamed, I can never be sick. My God, power for us, Kapata. You catch the word. You go for the word, and then you catch the word. You, as I'm releasing it, it's falling, but it takes you being ready to catch it. 
be ready to receive it. You don't receive it with sleepy eyes. You you do have, you sleep like you now receive. I say, mm, mm, mm. My God. You catch the word. Mother free radia. So as I'm preaching, in between what I'm preaching, the Holy Spirit can enlighten one. Say, Kai, what is this? You are writing it down. I catch this. I receive it. You will just realize any day you catch a word, even sometimes for one week, that word is ringing in your spirit. You just caught that word. You just caught that word. Anything that has to do, any situation that has to do with that kind of word can never come around you again. Because when you catch a word, it empowers you. So that is why you can be praying in tongue because you are not aware of some things. The devil is caging you. If you are aware that Jesus has actually paid for my sick, sickness, it, you can't be aware because I'm preaching it. You can't be aware. You can only be aware when you catch it. When you catch it. So you can preach one thing for 20 times pastors. They will not understand it. You can preach it 60 times. Somebody will still be looking and doing her like this. Like, Until the day the person will say, Oh, now I get it. You catch the word. And it empowers you. It releases a susia. A susia. So you can die like a man because you don't know. You don't know you are a god. You will die like a man. I don't cry up. I don't cry for situations. I don't think about situations. I deal with situations. Is anyone hearing what I'm saying? What will make me stand on this altar by January and tell you by the end of the year I'll give you a land in the name of the church? Sir, it is not just confession. There is a word I caught. There is a word I caught. That will make me stand and i'm speaking with boldness that will make me stand and say we are going to women development center when the bank account is empty i caught a word you say i saw pastor not doing this one let me go and buy a land by the time you are done paying they will bury you there because you will borrow and borrow and borrow and borrow and borrow to a point that is it, it, you oh it, you have not married go and meet people who borrow to marry they will tell you that the first one year of their marriage was hellfire on earth. You are just saying, my wife, give me food. Why the food is landing? Someone is knocking on your door. My wife, did, why the, the photographer is calling you? You will off your phone. You will change phone number. You will change address. Because everybody is following you. Pay me my money. Because you are borrowed believing that that day when they will pour, spread money, they will spread you six, six million. Then you will clear the debt. The remaining balance use it and open business. Men will shock you. When they will carry 2020 20 naira and it will full Ghana must go. Only for you to get home and realize it's 60,000. But you have borrowed 400,000. You will not tell your wife when you are relaxing and you say, oh, it's, like, it's like those people that pick my money, they stole my money. Nobody stole your money. They gave you what they gave you. Say, but I was seeing money pouring. How can it be 60,000? Sir, it's 20 naira that you saw. 20 naira in an envelope can look like 10 million. <laughs> Talk more of this kind of season where they have cashless policy. Somebody will be dancing with you in the occasion. You say, my brother, I would have poured you money. Oh. But you see, no money anywhere. No money. You know a lot of us they have excuse now. Landlord will call you. Say, landlord, no money anywhere. No money. Revelation empowers you. Revelation. In the beginning was the world. And the world was with God. And the world was God. And the world was God. My God. It is that thing that shines in darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend it. It's only light. He told Peter, he said, this thing, this thing you saw now, flesh and blood has not revealed it to you. 
flesh and blood has not he said upon this i will build my church and the, what he's trying to say upon the revelation of the christ i will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail over it what do you know because it's only revelation that empowers your prayer if you are praying with your revelation you won't know what to ask the earth is the loss and the fullness thereof. So if the earth is the loss and the fullness thereof, that means if I'm serving God, God can give me a portion of the earth. So by so doing, we will get land. I am speaking from revelation. You say, my friend is building a hospital. Let me build a hospital. You will be the first patient to be admitted there. Make sure you don't do this because others are doing it. It's like mortuary business is not the thriving business now. You will be the first to be admitted here. Because by the way you go through through every crooked way to be able to build that place, you won't be able to survive it. Sir, until you see, don't thrive. Until you see, don't pursue. Before God will do anything to you, the first step of his empowerment is revelation. But you know, when we even start come talking about this power, you realize that all of them are linked together. Because a man who doesn't pray through cannot have a certain kind of revelation. And a man who doesn't pray consistently, will not. you can carry Bible and be looking at it, it will be doing you like this. As you are reading it, you are not even understanding the story. Talk more of the revelation that is in the world. Because the devil is wearing you a goggle. There is a man called the lion of the tribe of Judah that have prevailed to open the seal. You must have relationship with him. He is the one that has the capacity to open the seal of the world. That world can become flesh. You just cut a revelation about prosperity. It becomes flesh in you. So that means anywhere you walk in, prosperity happens. Anywhere you walk in, you just walk into an environment, prosperity has happened to the environment. You, you have been empowered. You have been energized. That is, you have an energy in that. If you see Bishop David, they will walk into here and come here and say, in the name of Jesus, prosper. We won't last one year. You will be seeing beauties everywhere by the walls of a mortal man. What change, what is, what differentiates him from me? He sat down to understand from the book what is written about prosperity. If you can sit down and understand what is written about prosperity, I didn't say sit and cram. I say sit and understand by revelation. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Thou shalt meditate on it day and night. That is Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. He said by so doing, you observe to do everything that is written therein. By so doing, the next thing is that you will be the one making your way prosperous. You are no longer waiting on God because the word you have received, the word you saw has become flesh. You meditated on it until it became flesh. And then now, that word, where you dwell, it is the word dwelling there. When you enter an environment, it is the word that enters. Things are dealing with people in that place. He says, where men are cast down, you shall see. There is a lifting up. So in the midst of crisis like the one that is in the nation, to be frank with you, I don't know whether there is money problem or not. I am not saying this because I am telling you from the realm where I'm operating in. The charge does not prevent me from withdrawing. It's a lie that you make it 50%. The money will increase in such a way that it will be handling my challenges. Say because I cannot withdraw, I should trick from here to my house. That devil cannot make me trick. I have left the world of tricking. It's even looking like it's the season where money is not anywhere. That money is everywhere for me. You won't understand what I'm saying. Hayao, 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 O secret place. Hayao, 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 
hayau 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 uado na hayau hayau my god vale ver caloviana o cicliples hayau 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 revelation and powers my god sir we are not all equal you people are pastors catch revelation oh. don't depend on members oh. catch the revelation that will bring security to your finances This morning, while I was leaving my house, something came to my spirit. I said, I was trekking to where I would enter the means to come to church. And I said, I'm trekking not because I can't buy a car. Not because I can't buy a car now. But I'm trekking because my eyes are single. I'm focused on something. So when somebody see me trekking, say look at him trekking. Uh, we are not to be affected by the economy of the world. We are not to be affected by the pre by the government sitting on the throne. If they like, let Bala Blues be the president of the nation. Even if he like, he should be there as the president of the nation. We will build direction chapel. In the season where Bala Blues is the president, we will build it with the best equipment, important equipment. Because we are not operating from the economy of Bala Blues. We are only operating from the economy of heaven. My God shall provide all your needs according to his riches in glory. So there is a riches in glory bank. That is where our supply comes from. Not from Access Bank. If Access Bank like, they should be cutting percentages. It will not prevent us from transferring. It's not when you transfer. Same day, we will allow 25 Naira. You know, sir, I will not transfer again. They are wicked. Let me pack my money and keep in the house. Let me construct safe. And then you will not pay tight. Devourer will remember you have a save. You will come that place, you pack one 1,000. That part of the 1,000 that has 1,000, 1,000, Tamite will come and eat it from up to down. So when you bring it, you have the face of the man in the Naira, but there is no, 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 no 1,000 and there is no Naira on it. Touch your neighbor, say, What can you see? That's why you need to give yourself a task in the world. The things I'm telling you are things that should happen daily. You have a daily prayer schedule. You have a daily word schedule. And we are in a season where it is easier for you. No matter how busy you are, you can read the Bible. No matter how busy, it's on your phone. You just rush out whenever you have a little time, look at it. You say, Pastor, you don't know the kind of job I have. Once I leave the house, I won't have chance again. Get the earphone. You have audio Bible. Keep listening to it. Keep listening to it. Keep listening to it. Once anyone hit you, catch it. I can never be sick. I can never be poor. I can never beg. I will live in the best of places. I will use the best of cars. Not because I'm arrogant. But because I have seen in the scripture that there is provision for some of these things I'm saying. Here, here, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if anybody ever come now and say, 
what if this man doesn't succeed there is no word of what if we have left we are on the move my god my god we have succeeded we have already done it there is no what if again no what if can make us not succeed no what if can make us not travel to nations no what if no what if not a boy state is not big enough to prevent us from doing that instead we'll do it from here this place will be a takeoff point i promise the devil that in this state where it's looking like this are not working he will see the kind of model of ministry we'll build here we will not beg to do it because we have a god that is big and we have seen by revelation that he made provisions for everything we need so as a believer you can die like an unbeliever because you are not aware you don't know what is the promise of god for your health you don't know so a susia will not be activated because you are not aware so you now see believers who are believers who have been empowered above the devil they organize vigils to, to fight the devil they say let's organize vigil you don't know this one it's wicked i i remember some years back i'm sorry to narrate this story i wasn't a pastor but i have seen from scripture that we have been lifted far above principalities and powers immediately i saw it i came for a, a, a meeting as a student then i used to go for they, they invite me for a meeting i came for a meeting and i was in the church somebody was manifesting and i walk up to the person and say don't trouble my service get out of him and the person screamed Wah! the demon left i continue preaching so i went for i went to church on one sunday and they were teaching on demon and so i think it was on sunday school the, the people teaching us narrated how powerful devil is how powerful the devil is how this one and this one at the end of the day when we gathered in church there, was, there is a period that everybody will gather to summarize my heart was boiling how can the devil be exalted like this in the house of God and pastor came up to summarize that particular section I felt that the person who taught us was the one that made the mistake pastor took the mic and began to exhort the devil again at the end of the day he said do you have question or contribution people ask their questions i said i have contribution say what is the contribution i stood up and said pastor the devil is not as powerful as you are showing him to be i use scripture one scripture or the other or the other or the other at the end of the day i brought scripture and said by this scripture by this by this it is shown that even if the devil is powerful his power does not have anything to do with us because we are sitting in a higher authority than where he is sitting in the cadre of authority we have dominion and this devil comes lower is the least of it when it comes to the hierarchy of authority when i was just saying pastor collected mike and say you are talking like a baby because you have not met with the devil he said the day you will have encounter with the devil you will know that the devil is powerful thank god i have had the encounter with him thank god i have been in a room and my door opened and that agent of darkness walked into my room before my eyes thank god when i saw that agent of darkness i looked at the, the devil and i sighed turned over to the other side of the door of the wall and slept you morning I told him i said for you to come to my house i won't pray this night so you won't feel i'm praying because i'm afraid of you and when i woke up i looked around he was not in the room don't let anybody lie to you sometimes they package this thing as as message and you are gullible enough to eat it how can you be listening to a message that will make you fear that listen to a message that will make any noise that sound on your zinc you already pouring oil on your wall they have enslaved you by the message whereas the message you are meant to hear is the one that something will happen you will come out and flash touch what what is going on there is the one that a demon spirit will try to fly above your building and they will be roasted by fire without you not being aware it is in eternity 
that one will come and say, see what you did to me. He said, when did I do it to you? He said, you were sleeping and I tried flying across your building. Your spirit was so fervent. You were not awake. Your spirit was so fervent that I tried to fly around. He, he roasted me. He said, wow, congratulations. Next time, don't near that kind of house. You are supposed to be given a message that will make you come out in the morning and see a sacrifice of a live chicken an egg in front of your door and you will carry that slaughter because you have just prayed give us this day our daily bread not to carry oil and pour on it so Esusia is activated by revelation revelation at the realm of dunamis we pray through we pray through i remember some years back i prayed from 10 in the night to morning i didn't know that the reason why i was empowered to pray that way was that an attack was coming for my life when I was done praying, I traveled to a program. Getting there, I think it was in bride school then. I fell sick to a point that I vomited. I could not stand up from where I vomited. I was still life leaving me. I managed to gather strength and wear my clothes. Went to the place to preach. When I was done preaching, it was like the garment, the sickness was removed. Immediately I was done preaching, the thing came back. I staggered home. That thing happened for three days. The last day of the meeting, I was in my room. Just to rest like this, I saw a huge spirit that was said, sent to go and kill me. So when that spirit came around me, I saw something like an umbrella that came around and I held my hand on the umbrella and the thing lifted me. So that spirit was jumping to touch me that i was far above where the spirit can touch so while i was empowered to pray through was there was an attack that would have killed me imagine i didn't spend that hour praying dunamis very important your daily prayer life that activates kratos very important and then that's revelational knowledge that activates esusia very important if you don't have this at the tip of your finger you are gone so how do i get power you get power number one praying through you get power praying consistently you get power by revelation and you get power by submission i will show, I will show you maybe by next service the kind of power you get by by submission is called iskus so when you are submitted under authority the power that is made available to you as a result of that submission is called iskus and there are benefits that are tied to this you don't take one and leave others i am submitted to authority i study for revelation i pray through and i pray consistently so when you see that kind of believer he's always on fire he doesn't have any weak moment the one that cannot be attacked by dunamis it will be attacked by kratos the one that can be handled by Kratos, it will be handled by Esusia. The one that cannot be handled by Esusia will be handled by Iskus. We gain from every side. And remember the next time, I will still show you how to assess RK. Because there are the level of RK, where you begin to have influence over a society, influence over the nations. There are things you need to do to activate that. You don't need to leave anyone. Some of the things we are telling you are tools. When you gather it, make up your mind. Enter covenant with Jesus. That I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I am submitted to authority. There are so many things, that so many E's that I'm, I'm celebrating today. You know, within the week, my, my pastor called me and he said to me, that land, buy it. When I heard, buy that land, it's like a certain kind of force entered me. Because it's not just him telling me to buy it that word is an empowerment to buy the land i say when you are done buying start
start the building. There are missiles that when they send it against you, all you need is iskus. Where the, the, the authority over your head will not be the one that will speak on your behalf. No longer you. So this thing is this kind of power is above the authority you have acquired. When they now come, they say, Peter, uh, uh, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. You, who are you? So what he's trying to say, which lineage are you traced to? So if there is no lineage where you are connected, Iskus is near the way from you. And when you don't have Iskus, when that kind of authority come on you, Dunamis is resident, Kratos is resident, uh, Esusia is resident, you will still die with it. Because at that point, they need to fear another. You know when we are younger, you go outside and look for trouble. As they are pursuing you, you are running home. Not because you, have, you don't have power. But this power pursuing me now is bigger. So I will run to a God or a Father that is bigger than the power pursuing me. When I see my Father coming, as those people are pursuing me, I will stop and start strolling. I will look at them and say, you are idiot. Come now. Come now. Not because I have I've, I've received extra power. But there is an authority I have seen that will not allow anybody to touch me in his presence. In all you're getting, get dynamis. In all you're getting, get Kratos. In all you're getting, get Esusia. In all you're getting, get Iskus. In all you're getting, get Anakazu. In all you're getting, get Ake. You need it in this journey of life. Can you be on your feet? Yeah, na 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 na. Yeah, na 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 na. Yeah, 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 na 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 na. Yeah, na 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 na. Yeah, 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 na na, yeah, na 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 na. Yeah, na 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 Yeah, yeah, I'm going to give you three minutes. I don't know what you have heard because I told you the word is Catalambano. So you catch the word. That one you caught. Use it as a basis to your prayer this morning. Open your mouth and pray.